200 appearances, where do I even start? Well, I'm going to take you through some of the best moments since I've been at the club. Massive international stars and it was just Weir and Cuthbert from Scotland as well. Everyone loves, loves a little London derby. And... Oh, it's time to be real, I've just got the notification. Don't mind me. The league is the end goal and it, it's relief more than anything. I could finally sleep at night knowing that, knowing that we, had, we had done it. Oh, Erin Cuthbert, Chelsea ladies, signed Scotland midfielder from Glasgow City until 2019. Yeah, the, the press release from when I first signed, I remember just that being such a massive moment for me in my career and it was such a big deal back at home as well. It was my first professional contract. I actually really remember like bringing my dad down when we came down for the photos, um, seeing Stamford Bridge, went on a nice tour of the stadium and it was just massive and it was in, like nothing that I'd ever been used to or exposed to or seen and you know, I remember we signed like Ramona Backman, Crystal Dunn, Marin Mielda, like massive international stars and it was just we Erin Cuthbert from Scotland as well and who like was relatively unknown so when Chelsea came knocking it felt like something I couldn't turn down. I mean that honestly couldn't be more true. Like when Chelsea call, you answer and it, for me, it was it was a no-brainer. Emma Gaffer, I'm so excited about this signing. She's one for the future, but with the abil ability to make an impact in the hearing now. Oh, that's that's cute. How does that make you feel? Yeah, good. good. Emma's exactly what she said here is exactly what she what she said to me. She said like it might not be immediate, and you're gonna have to work for your place. Like I knew that there was top competition, um, but I was up for the challenge and. Yeah, take everything in my stride. Next up, uh, 2019, um, away at Arsenal. Everyone loves loves a little London derby. And it was at a time where I was just showing my worth to the team, like started to, to gain more minutes and started to be sort of uh, an integral member of the team. I think it takes time to gain trust with Emma. You have to be patient. And, you know, I, I, I did that. It's just loading. Sorry, Chelsea fans. <laughs> Goodness sake. It's the Wi-Fi in here. <laughs> I think I was playing left midfield at the time as well. I've played in so many different positions, yeah. Right, I just remember I was getting on the end of that. I was not letting the defender get the better of me and I think I sent her flying as well as the ball, so that was that was pretty good. Um, yeah, and the second goal as well. I remember being like booed all game from the, the Arsenal fans and... I remember my celebration was quite um, indicative of, of how I felt the game about being booed. So there's nothing better than, than scoring away at your rivals. I love playing at Kings Meadow and Stamford Bridge, but there's silence in a crowd is has to be has to be up there as, as a player. Chelsea four, Bayern one. Yeah, I remember this one well. Such a relief. Like it was during the the COVID times. It was in the Champions League where we didn't have a lot of fans. So it was such a shame that we couldn't celebrate this game because I just remember being an emotional roller coaster. I just remember coming on uh, late as a substitute and having to work as hard as I could. We were under the cosh. They were putting a lot of pressure on us to, to try and get a goal. And I think the, go the goalkeeper was the one pressing me in, in my own half because they, they put everyone up. and. I just had um, a good presence of mind to, to turn out and know that Fran was on the line waiting for the ball. So when that when that goal went in, I, I knew we'd, we'd sealed the chance to, to play in the Champions League final. So I think that's probably up there with one of my moments. It's never been about scoring for me. It's always about the team and I know how much it, it meant to the club and how hard we'd worked for it. <laughs> Wembley. Ah, 2022. Um, it was one of the greats at Wembley, I would say, uh, Women's Cup Finals, because it was so close, it was on a knife edge. Um, I remember being absolutely knackered that game, genuinely, because we had we had worked so hard. And like I said before, when the ball just sets to you on the edge of the box perfectly, like you've nothing else on your mind. And for me, it was just getting the ball out of my feet and and um, and hitting the target. And I think as a player, when it comes off the crossbar, comes down and then into the net, you're like, that was. That was pretty sweet. 
I just remember after the goal, there was like only one thing in my mind, like was running towards the Chelsea fans, like the, the flags were flying. Like I just remember being at just a sea of blue at Wembley and just doing a knee slide and Sam knee sliding next to me. Like it was definitely a moment that you just want to bottle up and just keep it for whenever you need it and um, whenever you need that little boost. But we ended up finding, finding the breakthrough in extra time and let's just say the party was pretty good after it as well. It was a perfect day. I think that was definitely one of my best moments. And I think having my family there, like they're from Scotland, they don't get down too much. And seeing their daughter score at Wembley must be, a, uh, must be an unbelievable feeling. And I'm just glad that I could give them something after um, they've gave me so much. Crying, cute. Right, next up. Yeah, Chelsea 4, Man United 2. The, the week before we, we played the FA Cup final. Let's go! I remember there was so much riding in the game. Arsenal could win the league. Manchester United, I think, could qualify for Champions League at that time. So I just remember not being able to sleep for like a week before that, honestly. Like, it's a nervous time for a player and, you know, I, I enjoyed the pressure of playing in the last day, having something to play for. And I think that's what's so exciting about our league. Like, you just never know what's around the corner and every game is so tough. But um, when Man United took the lead, I certainly started to started to stress a little bit and think, what if we don't win it today? What, what, what if it's out of sight? Everything starts running through your head, but you just have to park it, put it to the side and think, no, we can only control what we can control. And I seem to score these goals where there was like only one thing on my mind. Like it just falls for me perfectly and I'm just gonna watch it back. R right place, right time, um, loads of space. Had to focus on just hitting the target, keeping it down nestled in the bottom of the net and I was there was no time for celebrating. It was all about right, let's let's get the second, let's let's get the goal here. So everybody was there to, to cheer the team on and support us to to a win and hopefully win in the league. But Oh, it's time to be real, I've just got the notification. <laughs> Don't mind me. Back to business. Right, here we go. Sorry about that. I remember the emotions of the game, like, I remember Sam scoring Oh, that world, eh? her face as well, like she was not for celebrating, she was about getting another goal and I mean the one for 4-2 was nothing short of spectacular, I think that was one of the best goals I've ever had the privilege of watching, of watching live and chest bang, she didn't even, she, like she did not even have a look and I just knew that like us winning the game and the dramatic fashion we did, I knew there was going to be a big party and and there certainly was. The league is the end goal and it, it's relief more than anything. I could finally sleep at night knowing that knowing that we had we had done it. Probably everyone was watching thinking we were down and out, but never write off this team. We've got a top mentality and top manager, so what what a day for the football club. Oh new Chelsea contract. That was pretty amazing, I think. Um been on the cards for a while. Um I knew that there was a lot of fans wanted me to sign. I kept seeing, seeing tweets like you try and avoid it, but you go onto your homepage and and people are are mentioning you and stuff. And I know the the fans love me here. I've grown such a an affinity to to all the fans. I'd like to think they know that I give a hundred percent for myself and and the badge every game. And that nothing will ever change. Doesn't matter how long I've been at the club. Like there was only one thing on my mind at, at that point. So. You know, seven seven years and, and I never get tired of this club. I love everything to do with the club and hopefully that can that can continue. Long may it continue.